About once a year, I do a video about brand loyalty where I tell you why it's absolutely dumb to put your self-value into any brand of any product that you buy. I decided this year to roll it into my new series, Canceled, where I take a subject or a product or a service and either cancel it myself or if it's been canceled by the company, talk about it. In this particular case, I think it's great and probably a great opportunity to cancel brand loyalty once and for all. That's right, if you've been a long time viewer of this channel, you know what I feel about brand loyalty. If you're new here, this is perfect, perfect timing. This is the video for you. With this, you'll understand what this channel is all about and why you shouldn't put any of your feelings into a company's product. And I'll tell you all about it. Right after this. This, this is, uh, you know you listen to, to Travis. <laughs> What up, players? Welcome back. And for all you new people, welcome. My name's Travis and I do tech videos every single week and have a blast doing them. If that sounds like fun to you, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Anything I talk about will be in the description below, but for now, let's just get into the video. I thought it was about time to do another brand loyalty video and Canceled is such a great series. Again, I'll leave a link in the description for the first one where I canceled $1,000 smartphones. Not flagships, didn't cancel flagships, just canceling you having to pay $1,000 for phones you're gonna use for Snapchat and TikTok and Instagram and Twitter and and uh, Tinder. Because really, do you, do you need to pay $1,000 for that? But I'm very passionate about this particular subject because it just doesn't make any sense. When I first started doing YouTube, one thing I was really shocked by was the fact that some people are hardcore fans of their product line. Now, it's okay to enjoy the product. It's okay to even support it with your money if you like what they're doing, you know, buy the product or whatever. But the links that some people go in the comment section on YouTube videos or in forums is absolutely ridiculous. It's it's hilariously ridiculous. Let me talk about a couple of those things. Now, if you like subjects like this, then hit that subscribe button. We're doing all types of cool videos over here and the cancel series is just one of many. Amazon renewed, we're doing reviews, we're doing all types of things. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the crew, let's get it. The iPhone 12 Pro Max sucks. The iPhone 12 sucks, the iPhone 11 sucks, the iPhone 11 Pro Max sucks, the iPhone 11 sucks, the iPhone 7 sucks, it, the 8 all the iPhones suck. Galaxy S10 sucks, Galaxy S20 sucks, Galaxy S21 sucks, the Fold sucks, the Flip sucks, all of them suck, LG sucks, Xiaomi sucks, it all sucks, really, it sucks. Did any of that trigger you? Did you feel a certain way as I said that? Did I call out your phone and did it make you feel a certain way? So leave a comment below. I'd love to know the way you felt when you heard your phone called out and I said that it sucked. The reality is you should feel nothing. Let me try something else. Uh, your hammer sucks. The forks that you use suck. Uh, the screwdriver you have, it sucks. Did, did, did that make a difference to you? Likely that didn't affect you at all, unless you're some type of hardcore tool fanatic or something, which I suppose some of you could be. But by and large, you probably didn't care. Why? There's probably a couple reasons for this, but by and large, you're probably thinking, well, those are mostly tools. Either they're tools to do things to fix things or they're tools to you know bring food to my mouth, which is actually important. But if it's something that you own and it's a tool to you, like a phone is a tool to, to use, why did you feel a certain way with that, but not about the phone? Well, one very obvious reason could be the amount of money you spent on your phone versus those other tools. I thought about this for a while. I've done these videos for the last couple of years, and it really starts to strike me that possibly one of the reasons people get brand loyal isn't so much about the product, but it's because they've gone out on a limb and spent a lot of money, and they feel like that's a reflection of who they are and their decision-making. And maybe it is. I mean, to a certain degree, obviously, you've decided to spend a certain amount of money, either monthly or all at once, about one product. And maybe they feel kind of vulnerable and saying, hey, you are dumb for spending all that money on a piece of whatever. Like, maybe that's what it is. Maybe if a fork spent a, cost $1,000 and I said your fork sucks, you might, you might not like it. As a matter of fact, I think if I bought a $1,000 fork and someone said my fork sucks, I probably would be a little bit upset. What about you? So what is brand loyalty? Well, for the sake of this video, essentially it is supporting a brand for no reason beyond what you purchased it for. In other words, I bought something, it works, I like it, and that's it. But then defending it beyond that for really no reason. And that's what needs to be canceled. There really is nothing good that comes from this. For the most part, fights in forums and on comment sections is what comes from this. As people talk about how their product is better and how the other product sucks. Let's be honest, they're both great and they both suck. Like, 
I, actually all of it, not just Samsung and Apple, but all of it. They all are great and they all suck. The concept really is simple. When you purchase the product, that's when the loyalty should end. At that point, they should be loyal to you. Think about this for a second. When you work for a company, you should feel some sort of loyalty because they're paying you. Should they feel loyal to you? Probably not, as you undoubtedly have learned in your life, especially if you've ever been fired, they don't really feel loyal to you, generally speaking, and they really shouldn't. If I pay you money, should I feel loyal to you or should you feel loyal to me? Generally speaking, at least in our culture, when someone gives you money, you feel at least somewhat indebted to give them a service or a product or whatever. So why is it in this particular case, if I give money and a lot of it to a company, I feel the need to defend that company or take my pitchforks to the, to the comment section for that company? Shouldn't they be paying me to do that? Furthermore, they don't know who the hell I am and they don't know who the hell you are either. So why are you doing it? Unless you work for one of those companies, which at that point would make sense, why do you bother? Once you pay them, that's when your loyalty should end. Their loyalty should be in keeping you happy as a customer, no matter what happens after that. You don't have to do anything for them. You've already given them the money. That's it, you're done. So what happens if a company does something you don't agree with? I mean, this just even happened recently as Apple stopped putting in power adapters with their phones. Of course, Samsung fans laughed at that until that same thing happened with the S21 series of phones. So the thing that you have been talking about so much and talking about how Samsung continues to put uh, power adapters in with their phones or at one point have headphone jacks on their phones and they'll never get rid of it, they made you look foolish. And I'm gonna tell you right now, they don't care that you left all those comments saying otherwise. I'm gonna give you a piece of advice. Don't ever put your self-worth into anything that you buy. Just don't do it. Doesn't matter how much it costs, none of your self-worth has anything to do with anything you've purchased. That's the first mistake. Trust me when I tell you, that company is not putting their worth into whatever you say. So why should you do the opposite? Be loyal to yourself, your money, and your experience. That's all. Like, forget about the rest. For me, I've had uh, Galaxy Note phones for over a decade and then just recently switched to Apple. Not because I'm loyal to Apple, but because the experience for me has been better for what I need right now. That will undoubtedly change in some future instance. As a matter of fact, I said this in a previous video when I said, I'm using Galaxy Note phones, but at some point that may change. And it did. I said the same thing about televisions and television brands that I've purchased. And I have changed television brand uh, several times over. Like I don't care because I want the best. I want the best all the time. And I've actually talked about this once before. Bandwagon jumping. It's literally the greatest thing ever. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I kind of equated it to sports. Uh, this was from one of the previous <laughs> brand loyalty videos. I'm a bandwagon jumper. Since I stopped watching professional team sports years ago, if I actually watch a game of something, I just pick the team that's winning. Because guess what? That team typically wins. It's the best thing ever. My team always wins. You might go, oh, Travis, bandwagon jumpers are terrible. I would say, how many Super Bowls has your team won in the last five years? Mine's won five. How many NBA championships has your favorite team won? Mine's won five. How many Stanley Cups has your favorite team won? I don't, I don't watch hockey. That's right, be a bandwagon jumper. Win all the time, I love it. I think that's great. Why wouldn't you ever, why would you ever want to lose ever? If you jump from one winner to the next, you win all the time. Be a bandwagon jumper, always be winning. I love that, always a winner, let's go. This is a very simple concept. I'm actually advocating for yourself, for your experience, to let your experience guide where your loyalty lies, which is really only to yourself. Those companies are not loyal to you, no matter how much money you give them. They don't know who you are. They don't wanna know who you are. Trust me when I tell you, anytime you contact them, it costs them money. They don't wanna know who you are. They want you to purchase their products and never bother them. That's actually a good business. So don't think they will ever come to your defense if you need it. If you start getting attacked by other fanboys, Samsung's not coming in the comment section and defending you. Apple isn't coming in the comment section and defending you. It's not happening. Brand loyalty is dumb. We're about ready to cancel this thing. Let's cancel this all together. If you like a product, that's fine. There's no reason to hate on someone else not liking the product. Now, you can absolutely give your experience and explain why you are not a fan of that product, but smashing on someone, dunking on someone because their product isn't the one that you have is kind of sad and pathetic. So I think it's like this. If you're brand loyal, you're a sucker. You are a sucker to the nth degree. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm canceling this. I'm canceling brand loyalty, so says I.
Let me tell you something. I got another cancel series over here. We're going to cancel these $1,000 phones. And I got some other cool videos right here. So make sure you check them out. Thank you for coming on by. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Peace and love.